Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by the channel. In today's video, we are unboxing a watch from a micro brand called Zenea or Zenea. It's a Canadian based micro brand. I don't know too much about them at this point and I don't know too much about this watch, although they did give a fax sheet which I'll be looking over for the full review. But in today's video, we're just doing the unboxing and first impressions. So basically this is uh, maybe what you might call just a let's look at it video. Would you look at that? So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, this watch has been passed around to some other reviewers. So I'm sure it'll have some wear and tear, but here's a bracelet or strap that it comes with. We've got some extra links there. I'll set that to the side for now. Uh, but let's unbox this watch and uh, let me share my initial thoughts about it. First of all, I like this color. Uh, red is really my favorite color and this is a nice bright red. You get some of uh, the branding there, Zenia and uh, their logo which is pretty cool you know it's the z and uh, like an hourglass so i like that logo and let's open the box and see what's inside all right very nice look at this wow look at that that's a huge like medallion and uh, that's pretty cool nice box as well got some nice shine to it uh, very solid lacquered type box and uh, very high quality as far as I can tell so looking good right off the bat first impressions are pretty good but let's look at the watch and here it is this is the Zenia Eula Diver, and this, as you can tell, is a special one. It's got that meteorite dial, and this is my first experience with anything meteorite, uh, and it looks really cool in person. Seen some on videos, uh, but here it is right here in my hands, and it's pretty neat to look at and to think that it came from a meteorite is pretty neat. Let's get it off the pillow and uh, just share a few thoughts about it and we'll do some measurements. We'll do a loom shot and uh, look at it on the wrist real quick. But again, don't expect too many details in this video. Stay tuned for a full review of this piece if you want to learn all the ins and outs of it this we're just looking at it and checking it out fairly quickly overall and the feel of it you know sometimes you feel a watch you can feel you know that it might be a little bit cheap I don't feel any of that here I'm liking the the blue dial with that gray meteorite color and the blue hands and the red second hand as well all flows together really nicely um, you get uh, a 12 numeral and a 6 numeral. Otherwise, we have indices here. You get a date window as well. 300 meters water resistance, as you can see, written on the dial. And uh, looks like a pretty cool diver. Let's check out the bezel action. Nice. Very nice. Feels crisp. No real back play. Crisp and clean. Feels quality for sure. Easy to grip. A nice coin edging there. And everything seems to line up pretty good. So this watch was sent to me from another reviewer. I'm not sure exactly who. Uh, it was, but uh, I'm not sure how many people have seen this particular model either, uh, but it's been around for a little bit, so you might see some wear and tear. You get a nice milled clasp and nice uh, buckle here with uh, this 
quick extension feature that I've seen on other watches before, which is a nice thing to have for that quick adjustment. Now the thing I never understood about these is, you know, in order to pull it out, you have to actually pull these little levers here to get it to go out, but in order to push it in, you just push it in. Um, I'm not sure why that is the case, um, but that's how it works. Sometimes I feel like if you were to put it on your wrist and extend it, and then you might actually accidentally bump it and you know pinch yourself or something, I'm not sure. You did, do get a few micro adjusts here, so you can move that part of the bracelet in or out as needed. Looks like you get screw-in pins for the links. Everything feels solid. Of course, you get solid end links. Uh, nicely designed screw-down case back. And what's it say here? Because time matters. First production. You got sapphire glass and some other writing there as well. Let's get some quick measurements of this watch. Fire this up and see what we're getting here. All right, from the bezel, it's looking, you know, 40.5. Let's try and actually just get the case of this watch, if I can, without the bezel. See what we're getting there is about 40 millimeters. So the bezel adds a few millimeters. Uh, let's check the thickness of the watch. About 12.5 thick. Let's check the actual lug to lug where the bracelet articulates. So it does protrude past the lugs slightly. Let's measure these points right here. Sorry, some of that was off the camera. So at the furthest, fur, furthest point from the lugs, uh, as far as the bracelet goes, we got 48.9, but if you're actually measuring the lugs themselves, it's 47.5 as I measure that there. Uh, let's check the lug width, 20 millimeters, and tapers down to the bracelet to about 17, 18 millimeters or so. Uh, I think that's all the measurements for now. Let me put it on the wrist. I think it might be a little bit big for me right now, but I'll at least put it on. I am wearing another micro brand a watch that I purchased a little while ago, the Notice Sector Field. So there that is. Let's slap this Eula diver on the wrist and give you an idea what it looks like on my six and a half inch wrist. I think it looks pretty good. Again, I'm loving the color, that blue. It's a nice color blue. The dial is really cool. And uh, although I have small wrists, I think this, uh, this size is doable for me, for sure. All right, something I didn't play with was the crown. Uh, you do get a signed crown there. Uh, screw down crown. Zero position, you wind the movement. And first position change the date and then last position hacks the movement and you can change the time all right we'll screw that back in there we go and let's get a quick loom shot all right cool i was hoping that the bezel was going to be loomed I wasn't 100% sure, but as you can see, it is. And so I always love that. It's a great touch. And although it's not pitch black dark in here, you can see the loom shining through uh, after I charged it up for a little bit. 
and uh, it's looking good. In the full review, I'll let you know exactly what loom is being used here, but uh, just take a quick peek at it in this video, and uh, I'm liking it. So my first impressions so far are, are pretty good. Uh, I'm looking forward to spending a little time with it, you know, wearing it around uh, in order to do the full review. This watch is being loaned into the channel. Again, it's been to other reviewers, so I'll have to pass it along to someone else after my time with it, but I'm looking forward to spending some time with this cool piece, so stay tuned for the full review. There are other colorways of this watch, uh, which I'll also mention and uh, perhaps throw up some pictures uh, in the full review video. Uh, but this particular one, I think, has a launch price of 799 US dollars, and after that, it will go up to a little bit over a thousand dollars. So, if you're interested in this watch, I'd jump on it at that price. Uh, now, the meteor meteorite dial, I believe is one of the more expensive ones, so uh, other colorways might be cheaper than that. But check it out. I'll leave a link below to their website. And again, stay tuned for the full review of this piece. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time.